This morning, people in Eureka are still reeling from a tornado that devastated the small town late in June. As kids get up this morning, many are heading to a school that is still under construction today. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in Eureka right now to explain what school leaders are saying about the recovery efforts. Brittany, I'm standing in what used to be a practice gym here at Eureka High. Now, the gym itself had to be completely demolished. There's actually rainwater collecting in what used to be, or I guess still is, the foundation. They haven't decided what they're going to be doing with this. Now, the, the uh, school itself was hit pretty hard when the tornado came through Eureka two months ago. Part of that was the track and field. After two months, the track and field has been cleaned up, but it hasn't been fully repaired. That's why the Eureka High Tornadoes will have no home football games this year. This year, we will play on the road. Uh, next year, we're going to uh, get those games back, so we'll be all at home. So it, it's over a two-year span. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be different, but at least we get to play. So we will take what we can get. While kids are in class, crews are working to repair roof, siding, and gutter damage to the school. Right now, there are still pieces of storm debris that have been lodged into the side of the building. Now, uh, the community itself, the school, they like to say that they are tornado strong, not because of the storm, but because uh, the Eureka High mascot is the tornadoes. Well, that was once again tested when they had one of their welcome home celebrations, where I'm told a funnel started to form in this parking lot right here, lifting up construction equipment, uh, construction uh, foam and things like that for the roof that they are currently working on and scattering it into the nearby fields. Obviously, it could have been a lot worse, but I think it's safe to say that it has not been an easy road to recovery for the Eureka Tornadoes. Live in Eureka, James Ryan, KSNT News. One day at a time for the recovery process. Thank you, James, for keeping us updated this morning. Now, along with no home football games this fall, Eureka will also have no home track and field meets this upcoming spring.